Hello guys, in this video we'll see how to create a simple web application or Java based web application in Eclipse. So the first thing we have to do is we have to change the perspective of your Eclipse. So in the last example we have seen how to create a Java project. It's because we were in Java perspective. Now we have to switch it to Java EE perspective. So you can see there's an icon here which is Java EE. But in case if you don't have this icon here, so what we can do is we can just click on this open perspective icon and select Java EE and click on OK. Now it will open uh, Eclipse in a Java EE perspective. So when you talk about Java web application, so either you'll be using Servlet or you'll be using JSP. For both this scenario, we need a web server. So you can see in the server section, we don't have any server. So it says no servers are available. So what you can do is you can click on this uh, no server available and then you have to expand Apache because when you talk about web servers, so one of the web server which is very famous which is Apache Tomcat. So we can select Apache version 7 and then we click on next. Now it will ask you for Apache installation directory. So either you have to download Apache externally. So what we can simply do is we can go to Google and we'll say download Apache Tomcat 7 and we'll click on the first link. It will take you to the website which, which is tomcat.apache.org and this will go with the default uh, mirror and we'll click on zip. Now once you click on zip, it will download a Apache Tomcat which will be of 9 MB and will look in something in this way. So when you download, it will be Apache Tomcat 7.0.62 version. And what we can simply do is we can just right click here and say uh, extract here. Now once you click on extract here, it will take some time, maybe 5 seconds or 10 seconds, depending upon the system speed. And you can say there is a folder called as Apache Tomcat. Okay, We'll open this folder and say we'll copy this path here because we need this path there. So once you copy the path, get back to your Eclipse and paste that path here. So once you say paste that part, you can simply say next. We don't have any project now, so we can simply say uh, uh, finish. Now once you say finish, there will be a option here called as Apache Tomcat 7.0. By default, it is in stopped. Now we can start it. So I click on this server and say start. So there might be a chance that Apache will use a port number which is already busy. So basically Apache normally uses, so if you double click on this Apache here, so it will open this prompt and by default it using a port number which is 8080. But let's say in your system if you have two Apache and the earlier Apache port number which is Apache Tomcat port number is 8080, this will give you error. So what we can simply do is we can change the port number. So you can make it 8081, 8082 or 8084, the, your choice is yours. But in this example, we don't need to change any port number, so we can directly go with the default one, which is 8080. Clear? So in this video, we have seen how to configure your Eclipse so that you can at least create a web application. So step one, we have to change the perspective to Java EE. Step two, you have to uh, attach a Tomcat server in your machine with Eclipse, and you have to start it. Now, once you've done this, Next step will be to create a simple web application and that we'll see in the next video.